at London Bridge. It's been here for over 2,000 years. It is uh, the original river crossing of the City Bridge Foundation, the 900-year-old charity, and it's a key part uh, of London's infrastructure. There is often a mix-up. Uh, people often mistake Tower Bridge, uh, its more glamorous neighbour behind me, for London Bridge. And there is a myth. Uh, Robert McCulloch, in buying London Bridge, actually thought that he was buying Tower Bridge. He was a brilliant man. I basically invented the chainsaw. Um, he was an engineering student when he was in college. Very funny sense of humor. Uh, worked very hard, had a lot of different businesses going on. I was proud to be his grandson. They came and got me and said, the headmaster wants to talk to you. And I thought, okay, because normally when that happens, you did something wrong. And so I went in there and he sat me down and he's like, uh, just on the news, it said, your grandfather bought the London Bridge. And I said, you mean like the one in the song? And he's like, yeah, the one in the song. Well, a lot of people laughed about it because they're just like, that doesn't make any sense. There were a lot of newspaper articles that said he was crazy. So it took three years and they moved everything there. And then in 1971, they had this grand opening and they had all these movie stars and celebrities come out from Los Angeles. And the turnout was huge, hundreds of thousands of people. So at that point in time, all those articles that said he was crazy changed their tune. Lake Havasu City was a barren desert area before the London Bridge. When Mr. McCulloch purchased the bridge, he was able to put our community on the map. And that's what really has driven the growth of our community. And we stand at 60,000 residents today. The London Bridge has really been the center of everything in Lake Havasu City. It was how we got our initial citizens to move to Lake Havasu City. So they were the folks that came to our community and they built our schools, our business community, and our thriving tourism community that we still rely on today. That story started like pretty quickly after he bought it. And they made a decision to not dispute it. Um, because it kept coming up and then they, they did some, a little bit of math and figured out that they continue to get a lot of free press. It, so first off, no, it's not true. He knew exactly what he was buying. Um, and again, if you look at that bridge, there is no way that's going to fit in the space that they have in London, number one. And number two, I don't even know how you could take those towers apart. I come here every couple of years and I, I just love it. So I feel a sense of pride every time I come here. It feels like a second home to me. So I always look forward to coming here.